Hey everyone, I am back today with a fun uh, little dumpster dive haul. I got some good stuff. Um, most of it came from one store, so they were really, uh, really giving me goods this weekend. So, uh, well, not this weekend. The weekend hasn't happened yet, but leading up to the weekend. So let's start over here with the non-food items. Uh, if you watched my house tour, uh, if you haven't watched my house tour, go watch it. But if you have, I did kind of mention these pillows. I have two of them already on my couch. I went out this weekend and at a different location found the exact same pillow. However, this time they really destroyed it. So the reason I took it was, one, because I already have these pillows and I... Um, you know, they match, so I thought it'd be cool to have another one. And on the front side, it's not too horrible. I can just stitch that up. Um, they did cut the pillow as well, but that's no big deal. But the back is where things get a little crazy. Um, so I'll have to try my best. But I did, I did want to try because I do have the matching set already. What I'm, a th what I'm assuming happened was... The zipper um, came apart, and that's why they were throwing it away, but then they decided to destroy it as well. So there's that. I'm going to attempt to fix that and hopefully have a third matching pillow. And then behind that, I have four of these Aw Shucks General Stores. They're just little garden decor, maybe a birdhouse if it's feeling uh, <laughs> feeling like it needs a funky home. Yeah, it's hollow in there. These are definitely not my style, but they're cute. Um, they do hang if you want to hang them. They're all brand new with tags in the garden. I'm not sure where they were thrown out. Maybe they didn't sell very well, but who knows. Anyways, I grabbed those, so that's a good find. And that's about it for the non-food, so let's get into food. I have four jars of peanut butter, and the dates on all of these are June. So these are a little uh, preemptively thrown out. I will definitely take those. I really do prefer the peanut butter that is just peanuts, like no sugar or any oils or anything, just peanuts. I really prefer the texture and taste of that, but I have been finding peanut butter like crazy recently, so I won't complain. I will definitely keep those. I love peanut butter. This is an oil-free sun stick. That's a good find. Some carnation evaporated milk. I have two of these little Kate Moss makeup palettes, brand new. They're not even... Um, shattered or anything, so those are good. This is a compact mirror right there. That's fine. And then uh, I'll show you this really quick. It's a little hanging air plant succulent. I can't tell if it's real or not. I'm going to go ahead and say no. Um, but obviously the little light bulb it came in was broken, which is unfortunate because that's adorable. But I can definitely take out the succulent and use that somewhere else. Behind that, I have two of these Real Medley's Apple Walnut Quaker Oatmeal, a box of Frosted Cherry Pop-Tarts, and then a whole bunch of granola bars, uh, store brand oats and honey, kind peanut butter, two of the kind blueberry almond, two of these really big sweet and salty Nature Valley packs. Um, the, guys, the dates on most of these aren't until May, so we got at least a month. Today is only April 5th. Two of those, a uh, store brand chewy protein in what flavor? Peanut butter? Peanut butter and dark chocolate. Greek yogurt and blueberry. I have two of these Nature Valley Roasted Nut Crunch. Two of the dark chocolate chunk kind bars. Nature Valley Protein and Nature Valley Crunch right there. So that's a good granola bar little haul today. I have some very berry Cheerios. Two of the kind vanilla blueberry custard. Not custard. Custard. Clusters. Uh, one of the, what is this, 21 bars in one bag, granola crunch. I guess it's just like broken up granola bars, and that's actually a smart idea. Now that I think about it, they probably did this to reduce their waste because they have the super brittle um, granola bars, and they probably break a lot in the plant, so they probably came out with this product. That's kind of cool, I guess. And then I have one um, fruit and nut granola. So that's it on that front. I have two bags of uh, dried tart cherries right here. A thing of mayonnaise, which I do not like, so I'm going to give that to my parents. It's the light Hellman's Light Mayonnaise. The date on this is fine, too. May 27th. 
two of these zesty Catalinas. I would keep these, but I still have some from the last time I found them. So I'll donate those. I have two bags of marshmallows. I don't know about you guys, but I really do not like marshmallows. Um, I've never enjoyed them, not even as a kid. So those will be donated as well. I have three bag or three boxes of these Easy Clothes Slider Total Home Freezer Bags. That's a good find right there. And then three of these Smart Made Roasted Turkey and Vegetables and one Chicken Egg Roll Pack. Um, these were still frozen when I found them, so they hadn't been thrown away long. It has still been cold here, unfortunately, in the mid to high 30s. So, um, And again, these were cold, so that's fine. Same with this stuff right here. I have some mozzarella cheese, some Mexican style four cheese, a little pack of hummus with crackers or pretzel things, and then two, I had two of these Pillsbury chocolate chip uh, cookie dough containers, but one of them I have used a part of, so absolutely delicious. <laughs> uh, and then the last part of the haul, I haven't found K-Cups in like a week, so of course I had to stock up on more. This, starting here, I have a big Maxwell House coffee, some Newman's breakfast blend. I don't think I've ever found Newman's, so that's cool. cool. Black and gold. This one looks really fancy, too. Some Gavalia, and then two of the Veranda Starbucks. Like, the see the dates on this? October of 2019 has a while. And most of the dates, yeah, see May. So, we got a while. Um, some French vanilla creamers. I have a breakfast blend, K-Cup, Green Mountain breakfast blend. Some Major Dickinson's again, uh, McCafe Columbia, some decaf. This one isn't until 2020. Let's see if we can find it. January 30th, 2020. Crazy. And then I have this stack of Starbucks Veranda blend and this stack of Maxwell House K-Cups as well, and same thing here. The dates aren't until the end of May, so that leaves us a whole almost two months before those are even past their suggested sell-by date. So just a, a nice staple haul here. Nothing too major, but I did find some good things, and I'm definitely going to try to fix up that pillow. Oh, sneak peek over here. I did purchase <laughs> some white chairs, so we're getting somewhere. They were $25 off of Facebook, so I figured I might as well try it. And uh, I'll let you guys know how it's going on the dining room table front when I get somewhere with that. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe, comment, do whatever you want to do. And I will for sure be back soon with another haul. Thank you.